today um, filming in the open air and despite aeroplanes, church bells, jet planes and anything else that may go past, what I'm doing is comparing different drum heads, specifically Serdo heads. If you're watching this and you're a kit player, kick player, what you want from your drum is slightly different from this. Um, quite often you tune your drums probably to get rid of resonance or um, really to even out your, your sound. But in samba, in a surdo, what you're actually trying to do is play a note. So trying to tune the drum to get the resonance that you want doesn't work in samba. You have to tune to a note and then kind of alter your drum to get the resonance you want. So what I'm doing today is I'm playing with different heads that I've got. Traditionally you'd use a hide head, it's, uh, I think it's goat, head, goat hide. Um, and this is put on a 24 inch um, aluminium gopi surdo. Um, this is a particularly deep one. This one's a 60 centimeter deep and usually they're only 50. Um, so this one does tend to ring a bit, this drum. Also, the cheaper heads that you quite often get are the plastic heads. Um, they don't usually sound so good. A lot of people use them, but they're kind of frowned upon. Traditionalists go for the goat skin. And something else that you can get is from Remo. This is um, their fiber skin. Specifically, this is uh, a power stroke fiber skin head. So it's, a, it's an attempt to make a synthetic skin, if you like. But um, this one specifically, I, I probably bought the wrong head and I tried them before. They're actually slightly too dead. They've got this deadening ring on the inside and I'm tempted to get rid of that. Damn, but the sun as well. Um, this is England. Who can tell? Um, I'm actually tempted to cut that out. I tried this drum before with two of these and it was so dead. It sounded like an, an R&B kick drum um, with big compression on it, uh, which isn't quite what you like for, for samba. What you like from samba is a note. When you play a drum in samba, you're looking for a note like this. It rings and you, use, you deaden it with your, with your hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape a bunch of tests, um, not using a normal video camera to tape them. What I'm going to, if you come over here, come over here. I'm using a Zoom Q3, which is very good at sound, but not particularly good for video. That's why I'm talking to you on that and not on this. So now I'm going to do a number of tests by changing heads, swapping heads, playing the drum upside down on different heads, and you draw your own conclusion, see what works. Let's go play.